Alright guys, hello, welcome back. Um, this is my newest video tutorial on the Pink Cloud Render plugin. Um, yeah, I'm doing this video because I made some changes to the plugin and um, actually I decided to um, separate the plugin into uh, basically two plugins. So um, yeah, I'm uh, separating the static point cloud part from the dynamic point cloud part. And uh, this video is about the static point cloud part. So the, the plugin which is called Point Cloud Renderer plugin, just easy as this. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show you what changed um, compared to the old version. Um, but uh, with the new version, you have the, the same and uh, actually even more functionality than in the old version. So um, yeah, you'll be able to do the same stuff um, as with the old version. But uh, you need uh, two plugins. So um, the one plugin is as I said, the static point cloud plugin, uh, which is covered by this video. And uh, you will also need another plugin, which is then probably called the GPU point cloud renderer, uh, which handles all the dynamic stuff and uh, very large data sets and stuff. And uh, this will be available probably in a few weeks and um, will be open source as well, probably. So it will be free for you guys. Um, yeah, and um, I also do uh, more videos then on, on the combination of the two plugins and how you can achieve, uh, like for example, rendering from Kinect um, in Unreal or also like rendering like very large data sets. So this I will cover later. And uh, now I'll just call, um, try to explain what changed uh, in the static point cloud um, version of the, of the plugin. And okay, so when you um, have purchased the uh, the, uh, the plugin, then uh, first of all, thank you. <laughs> um, second of all, this is the, the content you have. So, this is the example project that comes with the plugin. Um, I have a demo room level here and three um, blueprints um, for demo purposes. And uh, yeah, uh, let's open the demo room. And actually, you should be able to see this one here. Um, Okay, so what I have here is um, three static point clouds. Um, for the difference between static and dynamic point clouds, I refer to my old videos. Um, in this video, I will just cover what changed exactly. So, um, yeah, it looks about the same. Um, actually, what changed is not much. Um, I just basically renamed um, a few files or a few nodes. And, uh, okay, then let's open this blueprint over here. Okay, it looks the same. Um, one changes, for example, the name of this node. So it's now called, so it was called um, Lord Point Cloud before. Um, it is now called PCR Render Static Point Cloud from File. Um, I decided on this because um, there is also another node which is now called, uh, sorry, which is called um, Get Point Cloud Data from File. Um, and this is actually um, just to get the data, so it's not about rendering, it's just to get the data from a PCD or PLY file. And um, for example, to get the data and stream this data or um, yeah, convey this data to the new plugins, so to the, I mean, to the dynamic point cloud plugin, which, uh, as I said, will be um, released later. So for example, you could now use this node to just um, just get the data of this point cloud file, and um, then you will get the, the colors and the points out. And this, for example, then as I said, you can put in the in another um, point cloud render plugin to, for example, visualize very large data sets. Um, another nice feature um, is the Kinect connection, so I have something here like the get connect to point cloud stream node. Um, um, this works in the same way, so it's not about rendering, so I can't, so you can't render um, the Kinect stream inside this plugin because it's only for static point clouds. But with the um, additional um, open source GPU point cloud renderer plugin, you'll be able to also um, visualize this in real time in Unreal. And uh, yeah, basically you have to have the um, Windows uh, Connect 2 SDK for it. And uh, then it should work out of the box. Um, I'll also do a um, video tutorial on this later on. So how to 
render a connect to stream. Um, yeah, exactly. And besides from that, actually, um, this didn't change anything, I guess. So you uh, still have the possibility to reconstruct the surface. Um, you still have the possibility to set um, the pointer properties and stuff. And yeah, basically it should work in the same fashion. Um, of course, you're also free to create any material you want. So um, the plugin comes with a bunch of materials. So um, yeah, basically just a very basic material. So for example, unlit with only the color being visualized, um, or like a shaded version or a glowing version. And um, yeah, of course you can also just simply use your own materials and uh, create, for example, billboard materials. So, um, by the way, I also have some, some billboard materials. So as you can see here, um, like this point cloud is rendered as billboards. Um, of course you can change uh, the materials. For example, this one is of course not billboards. So this is just oriented, oriented planes. And uh, yeah. Basically, that's it. If you have any questions, um, feel free to email me and uh, then have fun with the plugin. See you.